as human beings, we wouldn't tolerate behavior such as this towards each other under any circumstance. Yet this is how we treat our cows, who are emotionally no different from us. We are relentless, we are merciless, and have no empathy for them in their lives or in their deaths. Peter's findings of the current milking industry, at least in the US on many farms, that cows are not treated as equals and are instead exploited by humans. Animals are denied the basic of needs, space to graze, a nutritious diet, comfortable living conditions, and most of all, the quality of life. Cows feel attachment to family. They have deep thoughts. They feel pain, they feel fear, and they cry. Farmers become indolent and hasty regarding the welfare of their animals. So cows suffer from disease, lameness, emotional trauma, reproductive problems due to constant impregnation, and most importantly, another infection known as mastitis. At the conclusion of their lives of exploitation for profit's sake, these animals undergo an extensive traumatic experience leading up to their eventual death. Branding, often on their faces. Dehorning, without anaesthetic. Transported, within a dense space. And then bled. whilst they're still alive. Although we get told they are supposed to be rendered unconscious when this happens, it's not always the case, and not uncommon either. There are standard procedures in place to ensure a humane slaughter with minimal suffering to the animal, particularly in kosher, but it has been documented several times over that the standards are violated. For many cows that have been slaughtered, Death was neither quick nor merciful. Can we allow this exploitation to continue? Are we able to better control the way that cows are treated and kept by farmers? Can we provide a better living environment for cows? And with a unique architecture solution? Cow Towers will look to answer these questions.